Welcome, friend. We're so glad you joined us today. We thank you for your concern and for choosing our church uh, to worship. We thank you very much. You're always welcome here. Let us give you our order of service. We have Sunday school on Sunday morning at 10 o'clock, and we have Sunday morning service starting at 12 o'clock. And on Wednesday at 6 o'clock, we have Bible study. And Friday at 6 o'clock, we have evangelistic service. And you're welcome to come to all of our services. And we're soliciting your prayer. Continue to pray for us, and we will pray for you. We are trying to get the word of God to the people. And we solicit your prayer, your support, in whatever way you can. Now let's go to our service that's already in progress.
time. But she had, she did, she, you know, thinking that I wanted to put the house, I was going to put it in my name because I was the one that called and I didn't want nobody else to get in front of me. But I didn't want the house. I was just doing that to keep somebody else from buying it. You know, I was going to get the money from her and she went by me and told me something crap. So I don't know what she told me about the back of but I just put the house on the auction block. So this
smile up on each of you, and I want to thank all of you that uh, came out when you could and supported uh, the revival. We realized some possible was working, so that's you and, and that's, that's a good thing. Really that's a good thing, out. because uh, real if you go down the way, you're comfortable with that gun. Sure and so right those of you that asked out, I'm glad that God spared your life and kept you with strength, kept you with the necessary energy that was required in order for you to do uh, what you did. And uh, thank you for your financial support. And uh, God uh, knew what we wanted, and he blessed us uh, to have that. We just serve that kind of God. Uh, we're going to hurry right along, and I'm going to soon let you go. And I'm not going to be up here too long, but I'm going to be up here long enough. Is that all right? <laughs> Praise the Lord. One preacher said, if you uh, pray for me, I won't be long. Uh, if you don't pray for me, I still won't be long. Praise God. But I do want you to pray for me. I want to talk uh, today briefly from the seven. Repent <laughs> and live. Three words. Repeat. Repent. I'm sorry. Repent. Well, I guess I will repeat. Repent and live. Who knows what repent means? Repent means to, first of all, acknowledge that I've been wrong and to ask God for a change of heart and ask God to give us a new and renewed mind to serve Him because uh, it's no reason to repent if we don't intend to do better. Can I get a witness? And no need, no need, of, no need of repenting if we're going to do the same thing again. Praise God. So that's what I want to talk about. I got uh, several scriptures that uh, if you want to, you can write these down as I go. Uh, 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 repent and live. How many want to go to heaven? Amen. Now, there, there's not the two conditions basically that you can go to heaven. First thing, you got to be saved in order to go to heaven. That's number one. That's number one. <laughs> number two, who can tell the record when? You got to die. You got to die. You, you're going to be walking in heaven in this earth. Why? You, you, you got to get saved, be saved, that's number one. And number two, you got to stay saved and die. Because if you get saved, that's no guarantee you're going to go to heaven unless you stay saved. You get saved now and backslide tomorrow, and the Lord comes Tuesday. Go to hell. So do that. Right. So since we don't know when he's coming, what do we do? We, we repent, get saved, stay saved, live saved all day, every day, 24-7. No eat, no second. That's crazy. Left out to backslide. Come. Before we get back in, the Lord may come. Then what? But just like when you go out your door. How many of you lock your door without first checking and see if you got a key? Because you come out and do it, lock your door and don't have a key in your purse. What's going to happen? You're going to be locked out unless somebody else has to let you in. That's the first thing I check for my key. And sometimes I shut the door before I think. I'm like, oh, man, I locked my key. I check. Oh, I got to get That's a good feeling. So the same way about uh, going yeah. to heaven. Uh, living a saved life. Now, I'm going to tell you one thing. Living saved is not hard. It's not hard. Why is it not hard? Because if we open yeah. up to God, God is going to come into our life and live it right. in us. It's not hard. Yeah, that's you can, crazy. Listen, if you're going up the hill on behind you, man, and pushing you up the hill, how hard is that if you get up here? Oh, me, I'm the one back there right. yes, trying to push you up the hill. So if God is willing <laughs> to live in us and supply every need that we have, why can't we just submit to him? To Lord, wherever you lead me, I'm going to follow. Wherever you push me, I'm going to go. You see what I'm saying? So that's what we want to talk about. I want to open up some scripture so nobody can say, Lord, I would have gone to heaven. I would have uh, done better, but my pastor, and you're going to have to learn to be calling my name. I like what he says, And my past come to grief. You would be up there calling my name, saying that I didn't teach you how to be saved. <laughs> then I'm going to 
look up, oh my, say, not true, not true, not true, not true. Pray. And I just did the teacher make it so plain until even if you try to do that, you'll be shamed. <laughs> he said, I'm shamed, but I'm just trying to lie on the ballot. All right. Now, if those of you got a pill, I would like you to take these down because there'll be several of them. All right. Uh, second uh, Chronicles, the seventh chapter and the 14th verse, the first scripture that we're going to read. And it reads like this. If, say if. Yeah. My people. My people. Now, who is that? Oh, that's us. If my people, which are called by my name, we are the children of God, that's why I'm there, shall humble themselves. We know what humble yourself means. Simply come down off your high horses. Think we got it made, think we can do it on our own, think we can live saved without asking God to help us. We just say, I'm on my way to heaven and I'm so mad. It's not that simple. Men ought to always what? Pray. And you cannot pray, and I cannot pray until I first humble myself and acknowledge that I need God. I mean, no, we need God better than God needs us. Man, God can get along forever without us. How long can we get along without him? No time. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and what? Pray. And that's the first part. You got to humble yourself and pray. Then while you're praying, you're going to seek his faith. He said, seek my faith. He didn't say seek my hand. Did he? Who knows the difference between seeking God's hand and seeking God's faith? When you seek in God's hand, you seek in God's hand because it's something that you want from God. You know, oh, yeah. Anybody got a handful of money? Hold on like that. Say, anybody want it? Man, they folk will run over you. Handful of money. They didn't know it was play money until they got up there. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Handful of money. But I'm going to say this and I'm going to move on. My older brother got a good, good, good punishment. He, he drew... Uh, in, in the early years, we didn't have bright lights, so we had a lamp light that wasn't too bright. He drew on a piece of paper and cut it out uh, a dollar bill, colored it with coloring crayon, made it look like he was trying to. He was trying to trick my mom. And then, and he said, then when he got it all colored the best he could, he said, "Look, mama, look at this big bill. Look at this big bill." And then when he did that, he took a match and burned it up. And mama said, boy, it's hard as money to come about and tighten. And before my brother could ex explain it, it was plain fake. She was wearing him. I was <laughs> mad. He said, I know you don't dare burn up no money, scarce as money is. But it wasn't real. So, so uh, I said that to say, money gets people yeah. attention. I mean, there's a lot of people in prison today because they saw some yeah. money or wanted some money. They in prison today. They want that ease of money. Don't you know there ain't no ease of money? You, don't you know your neck will catch a crap in it all the way to look it all and see who's coming trying to kill you? <laughs> don't you know that's not easy? Go to bed at night, can't sleep. A mouse crawl across the floor. Go, what's that? What's that? You know, you're scared because you're getting it illegal. But if my people which are called by name, by my name with all of them, says the prayer, see my faith and do what? Turn. Everybody stand up right quick. Let's stand up. Let's see you turn. See my face and do what? Turn. Let's turn. Turn from what? That what? We now, if you're not doing wickedly now, that's because you've turned before I asked. Nobody can stop doing wickedly until they turn. You got to turn from your wicked way. And I had to turn from my wicked way. We all do. In order to turn from our wicked way, we have to first acknowledge that what we're doing is wicked. Because you're not going to turn from anything unless you find something wrong with it. Why don't they quit going down to that house? It's something that that house that they like. They're going to keep going down to that house. And you name it, whatever it is. It don't have to be sinful stuff, but you go to where you like what's going on. You like to hang with people that speak your language. I'm not talking about English. Most of us speak English. But your language. If you're a fisherman, who do you like to hang out with? Fisherman. If you are a hunter, 
you, you go to reach something on the deck and get that gas, throw you back in that seat so hard, don't want to give you whiplash. Now that's what you call muscle. Ain't a wood. You better get out of the way. Get something real. Run so fast on the highway, and lose the boat. That, 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 that's what you can And if you always sit around about how many times you almost got killed and all that kind of stuff, that's your life. Alcoholics like to hang around who? Alcoholics. You ain't gonna hang around no preacher. You ain't gonna hang around no preacher. You look to see a preacher come. You would run from the preacher's son, but you think the son's gonna go back and tell the preacher. <laughs> See, God will allow us time to get strong. 
Oh, he calls me wicked. Your name is not wicked. If your name is wicked, you show sure not wicked. <laughs> but we have to turn from our wicked ways. He said, then will I hear from hell. You got to repent. Then he will hear from hell and will forgive their sin. Now, what does forgive mean? Now, first of all, I got to repent. That's my job. And then God is going to forgive. That's his job. Forgive. In other words, he's going to reinstate you as though you never have sinned. Isn't that a good thing? You know you deserve to die. You know you deserve to go to hell. But God is going to step in and write it off as though you've never done any wrong and he's not going to put it on your uh, record as a felony. Isn't that a good God? We wouldn't serve a God like that. Man, we did some terrible things. And some of them boy, boy, but God could have struck us down a long time ago and we come to church. Boy, you tell us about it. Isn't that something? God be good to us every day. Wake us up every day. Some of us go to sleep mad. Mad with a wet hand. I don't know if a wet hand is a bad one going to try to But mad. And God bless us all through the night. And we'll wake up in the morning. And won't even say, Lord, I thank you. God is a jealous God. He's not willing that any should perish, but he wants us to repent. That's all. He didn't say pay no restitution. Just repent. Tell God I'm sorry. And who you know you repent, you know that you repent. Tell my friend, I hate to say I'm sorry. I told you something last crazy. <laughs> now, if you hate to say you're sorry, why be so sorry? <laughs> Man. Don't be sorry. I don't like to tell nobody I'm sorry. But you're sorry? You might as well tell them they already know you sorry. They said, look at her with her sorry said. Look at him with his sorry said. Man, God knows my heart. That's why you're going to hell too, because he knows your heart. If you don't repent, and if you don't turn from your wicked way, even though he's not willing that any should perish. Oh God would sin. No good person like me to hell? No. He ain't gonna send you your going. Your lifestyle. I mean, no. The way we live determines where we're going. When you go down to that bus station and go in there and buy a ticket, wherever you tell them to make that ticket out to, that determines where you're going. Don't they go there and say, I'm going to Jackson. You may pay the price to go to Jackson, Mississippi, and wind up in Jackson, Michigan. Much closer, but you paid the same price. So you've got to specify. Don't go tell somebody, I'm going over yonder. <laughs> where is that? Saginaw like River over yonder. <laughs> you better specify where you going. So, to be with my Lord. Yeah, you may be with your Lord. Your Lord could be whoever got to rule over you. The devil could be your Lord, small case L-O-R-D, but not capital L-O-R-D. So you got to specify, Lord, any way you bless me, I'll be satisfied. I won't. Man, I want something special. Man, gonna be, Lord, give me a hot dog. Lord, give me some spam with all that salt in it. Lord, man, no, you give me a steak every now and then. Lord, I want a three-wheel bicycle. I'm saying, Lord, you give me some on the motor in it. I don't care how many wheel bicycle you got on it or whatever cycle. If you got the pedal, that work. I got one I paid good money for. And I got good ambition that I'm going to ride it every year. I rode it one year. <laughs> Sitting up in there. Went out there another day, and I looked at the bicycle. I couldn't tell what color it was. So it does. Now, you see what I'm saying? So what I'm saying? The somebody said the 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 pathway to heaven is paved with good intention, but you're going on the hell. See, I intended to do good, but I didn't. I intended to ask for forgiveness for uh, uh, misusing you, but I didn't. So, so, what good is that? You intend to do, God, uh, 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 honey, I intend. 
you still broke. Because I didn't give you that. No, no, no. I'm just saying that. We got to do things. You don't you know if I promise you something, that's, that's yours. It ain't mine no more. As long as I'm holding it and I promise it to you, I'm a cheap, stingy, lying thief. Pastor, you sure put people down. I said, if I do that, I am. Ain't nobody in there. I am the thing. And I can talk about people whenever I get good and ready. If I say I'm a no good slime ball, ain't nothing you can say. Yeah, you said you, but you were talking about me. Well, if you're that much of a slime ball, you ought to get the slime ball for you and quit balling up. Repent.
Well, how long can you hold? Don't know, don't get it. Get you next day and smoke. Ain't nothing else smoking. <laughs> That's wicked. <laughs> if I'm going somewhere, I'm coming in. My wife's been there all the time. I can rent a car and say, what's up in the car? She doesn't drive. I can get on that car when she wants to go. Mm. She ain't mad. You ain't worried. Do you hear? Thank you. Okay, I'm going to be through it a minute. Wake up and listen to it. Do you hear? God is a good God. Mm. Uh -huh. I want to ask you a question. How can we be totally forgiven? Acts 3rd chapter 19 verse says, Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may When the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Hmm. Those of you that are old as me and older, remember we used to have fountain pens and have a little, like a little inner tube in it, not a ball for a bit, but a fountain pen. And sometimes the ink would come out too much and make an old puddle, and they had some old sponge like paper, and you had to put it on there and soak it up. Blot it out. Y'all too young to remember that. But then you can blot it out and, and dry it up just like it has never been there before. So your sin can be completely forgiven. But we got to stop sin. Once we are forgiven from sin, what do we do? Go and sin no more. Does that make sense? What good is going to be done? Forgive him. I tell you to come help me up out of the chair. As soon as I sit, then I sit back down. Come back and help me up again. Then I sit back down. Not the time you're going to come help me up. Maybe one time. That was that. You stay down there, buddy. You can call the rat. I slipped off in the ditch. Come pull me out. That time you get back and you back off in the ditch. You got to come back again. Yeah, right. Hold your breath till I get back. I pulled you out, you drove back in, and you on your own. But God is a little more lenient than that. He'll forgive us time and time and time again. But God knows our heart. See, we keep on shucking and jiving. He lets you know you can't fool me. Because I made you, and I know you. I know you're nothing but a crook. I know by the low down you come. I'm, I don't read now to cut you off. I'm trying to give you a chance to cover yourself. I know you ain't no good. See, we can fool some of the folk some of the time, but we'll never be able to fool all of the folk all of the time. So we might as well be for real. Let me buy the piece of your candy. I ain't going to give it a little bit. Then by the time I'm <laughs> <laughs> No down, bite it all. <coughs> and all you do is bite you swallow it. That's low down and wicked. So what we got, I'm trying to make sin look ugly. Because sin, I didn't know sin is ugly. Ain't nothing good looking about sin. I <coughs> care how pretty a woman is if she's sinful, she's ugly. I care how handsome a man is if he's sinful and low down and Wicked, he loved me. But I love you. I love you. See how many times I ran over your foot with my car? That show how many times I love you. <laughs> Praise God. We got to turn from our wicked way. Now here's another word. C O N F E S S. What does that mean? Now this this one and coming from uh, First John one. And now, C O N F E S S. What does that mean? Confess. Confess what? I confess, Lord, that I'm not what I should be. Don't be trying to explain to God why we sin. God already knows. Why would you 
out of the window and see him. I was lonely. And he said, I will keep him that he hurt in perfect peace. Who mind stay on him? Now we can't do it on our own. We can live man, we can't. Ain't no way we can live sane on our own. But we got to confess our sin. Praise God. Now here's another thing. When we were ignorant, now this is Acts 17 and 30. When we were ignorant, now ignorant doesn't mean stupid and crazy. Ignorant means not properly informed. Well, I'm so tired and so weary. But I must, I must.
Listen.